Conductivity or specific conductance of an electrolyte solution is a measure of its ability to conduct electricity. The SI unit of conductivity is Siemens per meter, S per meter. Conductivity measurements are used routinely in many industrial and environmental applications as a fast, inexpensive and reliable way of measuring the ionic content in a solution. For example, the measurement of product conductivity is a typical way to monitor and continuously trend the performance of water purification systems. In many cases, conductivity is linked directly to the total dissolved solids TDS. .High quality deionized water has a conductivity of about 5.5 micro siemens per meter at 25 degrees Celsius, typical drinking water in the range of 5 to 50 milli siemens per meter, while sea water about 5 s per meter or 50,000 micro siemens per centimeter i.e. Sea water's conductivity is one million times higher than that of deionized water smiley face. Conductivity is traditionally determined by connecting the electrolyte in a Wheatstone bridge. Dilute solutions follow Kohlrush's laws of concentration dependence and additivity of ionic contributions. Lars Onsager gave a theoretical explanation of Kohlrush's law by extending debye huckel theory. Units The SI unit of conductivity is S per meter and, unless otherwise qualified, it refers to 25 degrees Celsius. Often encountered in industry is the traditional unit of micro siemens per centimeter. 106 micro siemens per centimeter. Topic: 103 milli siemens per centimeter. 1 s per centimeter. The values in micro siemens per centimeter are lower than those in micro siemens per meter by a factor of 100 i.e. 1 micro siemens per centimeter. Topic 100 micro siemens per meter 1s 1 ohm 1 and ohm 1 per meter can also be used to characterize water. The commonly used standard cell has a width of 1 cm, and thus for very pure water in equilibrium with air would have a resistance of about 106 ohm, known as a megohm. Ultra pure water could achieve 18 megohms or more. Thus in the past, megohm cm was used, sometimes abbreviated to megohm. Sometimes, conductivity is given in microsiemens, omitting the distance term in the unit. While this is an error, it can often be assumed to be equal to the traditional micro siemens per centimeter. The conversion of conductivity to the total dissolved solids depends on the chemical composition of the sample and can vary between 0.54 and 0.96. Typically, the conversion is done assuming that the solid is sodium chloride, i.e., 1 micro siemens per centimeter is then equivalent to about 0.64 mg of sodium chloride per kilogram of water. Molar conductivity has the SI unit SM2 mole minus 1. Older publications use the unit omega minus 1 square centimeter mole minus 1. Topic: Measurement. The electrical conductivity of a solution of an electrolyte is measured by determining the resistance of the solution between two flat or cylindrical electrodes separated by a fixed distance. An alternating voltage is used in order to avoid electrolysis. 
The resistance is measured by a conductivity meter. Typical frequencies used are in the range 1 to 3 kHz. The dependence on the frequency is usually small, but may become appreciable at very high frequencies, an effect known as the debye falkenhagen effect. A wide variety of instrumentation is commercially available. There are two types of cell, the classical type with flat or cylindrical electrodes and a second type based on induction. Many commercial systems offer automatic temperature correction. Tables of reference conductivities are available for many common solutions. Definitions Resistance, R, is proportional to the distance, L, between the electrodes and is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the sample, A noted S on the figure above. Writing ρ for the specific resistance or resistivity R equals L A ρ Display style R equals FRAC L A rho. In practice, the conductivity cell is calibrated by using solutions of known specific resistance, rho asterisk, so the quantities L and A need not be known precisely. If the resistance of the calibration solution is R asterisk, a cell constant, C, is derived. R equals C times Rho Display style R carrot asterisk equals C times Rho carrot asterisk The specific conductance conductivity kappa kappa is the reciprocal of the specific resistance kappa equals one Rho equals C R display style Kappa equals frac 1 row equals frac C R conductivity is also temperature dependent Sometimes the ratio of L and A is called as the cell constant denoted as G asterisk and conductance is denoted as G then the specific conductance kappa kappa can be more conveniently written as kappa equals g times g display style kappa equals g caret asterisk times g topic theory The specific conductance of a solution containing one electrolyte depends on the concentration of the electrolyte. Therefore, it is convenient to divide the specific conductance by concentration. This quotient, termed molar conductivity, is denoted by λm lambda m λm lambda m equals kappa c Display style lambda underscore m equals frac kappa c. Topic: Strong electrolytes. Strong electrolytes are hypothesized to dissociate completely in solution. The conductivity of a solution of a strong electrolyte at low concentration follows Kohlrush's law. Lambda M equals Lambda M zero minus K C Display style Lambda underscore M equals Lambda underscore M carrot zero K SQRT C where Lambda M zero 
Display style lambda underscore m caret zero is known as the limiting molar conductivity. K is an empirical constant, and C is the electrolyte concentration. Limiting here means at the limit of the infinite dilution. In effect, the observed conductivity of a strong electrolyte becomes directly proportional to concentration, at sufficiently low concentrations i.e. when λ m 0 k c Display style lambda underscore m caret zero g g k s q r t c. As the concentration is increased, however, the conductivity no longer rises in proportion. Moreover, Kohlrausch also found that the limiting conductivity of an electrolyte lambda plus zero. Display style lambda underscore plus caret zero and lambda minus zero. Display style lambda underscore caret zero are the limiting molar conductivities of the individual ions. The following table gives values for the limiting molar conductivities for selected ions. An interpretation of these results was based on the theory of Debye and Huckel, yielding the Debye Huckel Onsager theory. Lambda M equals Lambda M zero minus O plus B Lambda M Zero C Display style Lambda underscore M equals Lambda underscore M carrot zero A plus B Lambda underscore M carrot zero SQRT C where A and B are constants that depend only on known quantities such as temperature, the charges on the ions and the dielectric constant and viscosity of the solvent. As the name suggests, this is an extension of the debye huckel theory, due to Onsager. It is very successful for solutions at low concentration. <laughs> Weak electrolytes A weak electrolyte is one that is never fully dissociated i.e. there are a mixture of ions and complete molecules in equilibrium. In this case there is no limit of dilution below which the relationship between conductivity and concentration becomes linear. Instead, the solution becomes ever more fully dissociated at weaker concentrations, and for low concentrations of well behaved weak electrolytes, the degree of dissociation of the weak electrolyte becomes proportional to the inverse square root of the concentration. Typical weak electrolytes are weak acids and weak bases. The concentration of ions in a solution of a weak electrolyte is less than the concentration of the electrolyte itself. For acids and bases the concentrations can be calculated when the values of the acid dissociation constants as are known. For a monoprotic acid, HA, obeying the inverse square root law, with a dissociation constant Ka, an explicit expression for the conductivity as a function of concentration, C, known as Ostwald's dilution law, can be obtained. One, Lambda M equals one Lambda M zero plus Lambda M C K A Lambda M zero two 
Display style FRAC one Lambda underscore M equals FRAC one Lambda underscore M carrot zero plus FRAC Lambda underscore M C K underscore a Lambda underscore M carrot zero carrot two Various solvents exhibit the same dissociation if the ratio of relative permittivities equals the ratio cubic roots of concentrations of the electrolytes Walden's rule. <laughs> Higher concentrations Both Kohlrush's law and the debye huckel onsager equation break down as the concentration of the electrolyte increases above a certain value. The reason for this is that as concentration increases the average distance between cation and anion decreases, so that there is more inter-ionic interaction. Whether this constitutes ion association is a moot point. However, it has often been assumed that cation and anion interact to form an ion pair. Thus the electrolyte is treated as if it were like a weak acid and a constant, K, can be derived for the equilibrium a plus plus B minus A plus B minus K equals A plus B minus A plus B minus Davies describes the results of such calculations in great detail, but states that K should not necessarily be thought of as a true equilibrium constant, rather, the inclusion of an ion association. Term is useful in extending the range of good agreement between theory and experimental conductivity data. Various attempts have been made to extend Onsager's treatment to more concentrated solutions. The existence of a so called conductance minimum in solvents having the relative permittivity under 60 has proved to be a controversial subject as regards interpretation. Foos and Krauss suggested that it is caused by the formation of ion triplets, and this suggestion has received some support recently. Other developments on this topic have been done by T. Shedlovsky, E. Pitts, R. M. Foos, Foos and Shedlovsky, Foos and Onsager. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mixed solvent systems. The limiting equivalent conductivity of solutions based on mixed solvents like water alcohol has minima depending on the nature of alcohol. For methanol the minimum is at 15 molar percent water, and for the ethanol at 6 molar percent water. <laughs> Conductivity versus temperature Generally the conductivity of a solution increases with temperature, as the mobility of the ions increases. For comparison purposes reference values are reported at an agreed temperature, usually 298 K approximately equals 25 degrees Celsius, although occasionally 20 degrees Celsius is used. So-called compensated measurements are made at a convenient temperature but the value reported is a calculated value of the expected value of conductivity of the solution, as if it had been measured at the reference temperature. Basic compensation is normally done by assuming a linear increase of conductivity versus temperature of typically 2% per Kelvin. This value is broadly applicable for most salts at room temperature. Determination of the precise temperature coefficient for a specific solution is simple and instruments are typically capable of applying the derived coefficient i.e. other than 2%. Topic: <laughs> Solvent isotopic effect. The change in conductivity due to the isotope effect for deuterated electrolytes is sizable. Topic: 
Applications Notwithstanding the difficulty of theoretical interpretation, measured conductivity is a good indicator of the presence or absence of conductive ions in solution, and measurements are used extensively in many industries. For example, conductivity measurements are used to monitor quality in public water supplies, in hospitals, in boiler water and industries which depend on water quality such as brewing. This type of measurement is not ion specific, it can sometimes be used to determine the amount of total dissolved solids if the composition of the solution and its conductivity behavior are known. It should be noted that conductivity measurements made to determine water purity will not respond to non-conductive contaminants many organic compounds fall into this category, therefore additional purity tests may be required depending on application. Sometimes, conductivity measurements are linked with other methods to increase the sensitivity of detection of specific types of ions. For example, in the boiler water technology, the boiler blowdown is continuously monitored for «cation conductivity», which is the conductivity of the water after it has been passed through a cation exchange resin. This is a sensitive method of monitoring anion impurities in the boiler water in the presence of excess cations those of the alkalizing agent usually used for water treatment. The sensitivity of this method relies on the high mobility of H plus in comparison with the mobility of other cations or anions. Beyond cation conductivity, there are analytical instruments designed to measure degas conductivity, where conductivity is measured after dissolved carbon dioxide has been removed from the sample, either through reboiling or dynamic degassing. Conductivity detectors are commonly used with ion chromatography. See also Einstein relation kinetic theory Born equation Debye-Falkenhagen effect Law of dilution Ion transport number Ionic atmosphere Wien effect Svante Arrhenius Alfred Werner – Coordination chemistry Conductometric titration – methods to determine the equivalence point